In this video, I'll show you how to make an amazing decorative item using a pine board measuring 1 meter and 40 centimeters in length by 25 centimeters in width. Hello, I'm Allison. Welcome to another video on the Wood Art Channel. Don't forget to like the video, and if you're new here, subscribe and turn on notifications so YouTube can alert you whenever there's a new video on this channel. First, I'll secure this aluminum ruler to one side. It will serve as a guide and allow us to make a very straight cut on this side with the table saw. I'll leave the ruler slightly protruding, passing the board by about half a centimeter. I've set the distance from the saw guide to be 25 centimeters to the blade. Next, I'll cut it into two parts, each 12 centimeters wide. This time, I'll support this side that was cut on the saw guide, so I'll have the other cut straight as well. Through the thickness planer, the thicknesses will be cleaned and standardized. I adjusted the miter saw to make a 30 degree angle cut vertically, and then I'll cut apart 90 centimeters long. Now I'll turn the piece and cut the other side, so it will be in the same direction at both ends. Next, I'll cut four parts, each 14 centimeters long. The cutting angle will be opposite at both ends. It was cut like this here, and it will be cut like this here. To ensure that all parts are the same size, I'll use this limiter already set to 14 centimeters. I'll follow the same process to cut four parts, each 18 centimeters long. I'll cut two more parts, one with a measurement from here to here of 11.3 centimeters, and the other with a measurement from here to here of 15.3 centimeters. Important! In these two parts, the cutting angle was made in the same direction at both ends. Sanding will be done using 180 grit sandpaper. Alright, in the next step, I'll assemble the item. I'll start with this part that measures 90 centimeters. I'll use masking tape in this process. I'll use two pieces each approximately 60 centimeters long. They'll be glued together like this, near the edges. Now I'll use these parts that measure 14 centimeters. They'll be glued together like this, aligned on the edges, and snugly in the center. Next, I'll add the others as well. Finally, I'll add this one that was cut to 11.3 centimeters with the cutting angle in the same direction at both ends. I'll apply wood glue between them. I'll use a brush to spread it. Next, I'll start the assembly from this end. I'll use clamps to ensure they're tightly pressed together always cleaning off excess glue to avoid finishing problems later. To reinforce the fixation, I'll place headless nails like this in each corner. Assembly on this side will be done the same way as on that one, but here, the direction will be reversed, and I'll use parts measuring 18 centimeters. 
The final design will look something like this. If you're enjoying it, please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. For those of you who want to do good work with wood, I've left some excellent tool suggestions, ebooks, and courses in the video description that will help you. By purchasing through the links, you'll be helping me to keep making videos like this for this channel. I'll add this piece to the project. It measures just over 85 centimeters in length by 4.5 centimeters in width by 2 centimeters in thickness. I'll also cut one end at a 30 degree angle. I'll fit the end that was cut like this, well supported in this corner. With the help of the square, I'll draw a line to make the cut on the other side. The following, I will make some marks and holes that will serve to fix the item on the wall. I've already set it to 8 centimeters on the combination square and will mark it like this on both ends. I'll change it to 2 centimeters and mark it in the opposite direction. At the marks, I'll drill using the hand drill and this 3.5 millimeter bit. The counterbore part measures 10 millimeters. This piece will also be glued. I'll apply a bit of glue here and on one end. It'll be fitted like this, making sure to leave the counterboard part facing up. I'll sand it again, this time with a 100 grit sandpaper to remove any remaining differences. In the next step, I'll round off all the corners on the top part. For that, I'll use the router with this 30 millimeter corner breaking bit. To fill in some small gaps between some pieces, I'll use these two wood putties, one in ivory and the other in brown. I'll mix the two using three parts ivory to one part brown. The mixture resulted in this color. With the applied and dried putty, I'll do another sanding, this time manually using 220 grit sandpaper. The final finish will be done by applying this high gloss PU varnish to the item, along with the catalyst for drying. The application will be done using this spray gun. I've left a link to similar models to this one in the video description. Well folks, here's the finished project. The item I made is a decorative wall niche with hexagonal shapes. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to be notified every time I post a new video. Remember, sharing the video with friends is the best way to help me keep bringing more content like this to you. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this project. It will be a pleasure to respond to you. Thanks for watching. Until the next video.